legislating morality has never worked. But the conservatives and the liberals, which are literally the same people, always want to vote this way. We talk about banning abortions. They always try to ban guns. Basically, they want to ban anything that can benefit people. You don't really need to have unwanted children that you can't afford. But they always want to put people at a disadvantage so that they can control them. They also love to talk about how people need to work together. And by doing so, they need to change things from the inside. But we all know that shit doesn't work. Because if it did, JFK wouldn't be dead. Yankee wouldn't have been killed for exposing what was going on in the Oklahoma bombing. Christopher Dorner wouldn't have got shot exposing what was going on with the LAPD. Chelsea Manning wouldn't have got beaten and charged for exposing the, the government, beating the hell out of and murdering journalists. Seth Rich wouldn't have got exposed, excuse me, killed for exposing Hillary Clinton. <laughs> this is a fucking joke across the board. The status quo never changes no matter who you vote for. Speaking of which, look at this clown at the uh, reparations meeting, reparations hearing. You had this, this Puerto Rican guy named um, Coleman Hughes. Coleman Hughes is a black Puerto Rican from New York City who writes for white supremacist think tanks. This guy got on TV and started saying all kinds of white supremacist talking points. The kind of deflections that you hear from government pawns like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Moten back in the day, Michael King Jr. He's one of those guys that talks some stupid shit about black and white race. If we if we pass this law, the black and white race will become divided. Motherfucker, the black and white races have always been divided and will always be enemies. Always. You just had a woman get her brains blown out in a store because the, the white clerk said that she was stealing. So he calls his friend not a cop, his friend, to come down to the store. The friend comes down, blows her fucking brains out. There's video cameras all over, but they can't find the guy who blew her fucking brains out. They can't find him. And they're not going to charge the clerk with anything, even though he basically just did a murder for hire. Anywhere else, that would have been the death penalty. If the roles were reversed... He'd be in jail right now, but he's not going to be, and they can't find the guy. So there's that. So spare me the unity nonsense. This is a place where I remember there was a traffic incident in Chicago during a funeral procession. One of the guys in the funeral procession got into an argument with a passing police officer of the local uh, precinct. The police officer got frustrated and just shot him in the face. So the family got out of the car, like, hey, what's going on? Why'd you just shoot him? Somebody get some help. So what happened is all the people in the neighborhood, because they were passing through a white, a white part of Chicago, they all got out with their guns ready to fucking go. So don't talk to me about some fucking unity, Coleman fucking Hughes. Save it. We're enemies. And you know what needs to be done. And I don't need to go into detail about Jux and Joe Chips. We all know where we fucking stand in this nation. Hell in this world. I mean, you got this piece of trash Marcone talking about Africa is going to save France. Of course it is. Because France has been leeching off those motherfuckers for damn near a hundred fucking years. To this day, they leech off of Africa. So now they're trying to use their hegemony. 
to take advantage of the development of Africa by the Chinese. Now, the Chinese are buying up a lot of land, but they can't afford to have an empire over all these countries. It'll stretch them too thin. And if they're stretched thin, the white supremacist oligarchs will take them on head on militarily. And they'll lose badly if they're stretched thin. So what they're trying to do is they have no choice but to help try to build up all these shitty ass countries around the world and create trading partners with them. If they can do that, they got a chance. Then they don't have to deal with the whites in Europe and America no more and their bullshit sanctions. That's what that really that's that's the it that's the long game. Blacks are concerned with the short game, they don't understand. That's the long game of the Chinese. They want to they don't want to deal with these people no more. The shit going on with um, ISIS in the Congo, the white supremacist oligarch are behind those guys because just like M23, they're trying to stop Chinese development, independent development. So that's where all the minerals to build a lot of technology is. And since they're going to go in there and do their thing, they need some disruptions. Those disruptions come in the form of the new ISIS in the goddamn Congo, which is this M23, a.k.a. niggas from uh, Rwanda, sent there by America's puppet, Karinga. That's all that is. So there's that. That's another machination of the white supremacist oligarch. Now let's talk about another thing down in Venezuela. Recently they just found out that Guaido and his cronies who are all puppets of the white supremacist oligarch have been hoarding cash from these charities. All those charities that allegedly sent money to help the Venezuelans went into the pockets of Guaido and his friends. As we all know, I mean, half these guys are murderers. Caprile has killed 43 people. But he's talking about he wants to fight for the freedom of Venezuela. A mass fucking murderer. Okay. Remember, um... Cordero's uh, uh, niece got mad at me and blocked me on Instagram because I pointed that out. But fuck her. And so, yeah. These guys took the money from these charities, millions of dollars, and they lined their pockets. They went to um, Colombia, started eating at five star restaurants, buying fancy apartments, prostitutes, cocaine, you name it. And the Venezuelan government and a couple of Guaido supporters in the United States exposed it. So now they're playing damage control. That's why they're, that's one of the many reasons they're trying to start this bullshit war with Iran. We all know the other reason. But, uh, we don't need to go into that. We, I mean, I pretty much red pilled my community pretty hard on those motherfuckers both of them the five stars and the six but anyway yeah that should just that just goes to show you these people are full of shit they're going around the world causing tons of problems as they always have there is no anti-globalist the, the, the globalists aren't just semitic no the bulk of them are regular white people. If you look at their history of World War One, that goes into great detail breaking all this shit down. The real reason, not the, not killing the Ferdinands. But I'll talk about that in another vid. I'll break all that down. I need to make the damn Congo vid. I have the vid ready. I just need to make it. But anyway, yeah. Selection year coming up. You're trying to weaponize your vote. Good luck with that. These people are full of shit. They're always full of shit. They're always working against you. They're letting you know. That's why the cop who killed Philando Castile got off. And the, the black cop who did the exact same thing to Justine Damon got the book thrown at him. Why? Because this is a fucking race war. These people hate your guts. They don't like you. They try to keep resources from you. They spread propaganda to try to win the hearts and minds of the average white person. To get manufactured consent to wholesale slaughter you. 
it's not me calling for the race war. It's me exposing the fact that these people are calling for a race war. They call it the Rewoha. And they've been trying to lock it in for a long fucking time. And they're getting closer. You're on borrowed time. You're playing around. You're begging. You can call it demanding all you want. When a girl stops her foot and goes, You can pay for my dinner. That is begging. She is begging. You can marry me. She can demand that you marry her, but she's begging. It's begging. No matter how you twist it, no matter how you try to spin it, it's begging. That is what's taking place. That is what's taking place. So, don't delude yourselves. Don't lie to yourselves. There's no coalition that's going to be damaged by reparations. I'm not even pro-reparations. But this Coleman Hughes guy was a fucking clown. The shit he was saying was stupid. Just go look at his fucking speech. It's trash. It's utter fucking trash. They pulled this fucking clown out of their ass. And they got more of them in the pack burner. There's always some... Poor little... self hating nick dog who probably got punked down to high school that they can toss a couple dollars to do their bidding. Fucking dirty race traders. It is what it is. And that's all I got to say, bitch.